import and comparison between the Zener breakdown and avalanche breakdown. In my previous video, I uploaded about Zener breakdown, how the way it happens. Let us have a small reminder about it. Zener breakdown, it occurs due to the applied field for which a heavy electric field is generated at the point of junction. As it is a heavily doped diode, which is specifically designed to operate in a reverse bias. So during the reverse bias, by giving a small amount of reverse voltage, there is a heavy electric field or huge electric field produced at the junction, for which the covalent bonds break. And when there is covalent bonds break, there is generation of lots of charge carriers. So there is a sharp increase in current that is called a Zener breakdown. Now in avalanche breakdown, what will happen? It is basically lightly or moderately doped. But it needs a large amount of voltage for the avalanche breakdown because it is lightly doped. Hence it is needs more device, more breakdown voltage for a large amount of current. So due to that what will happen when you are giving more amount of voltage there will be more drop across the depletion region. So when there is more drop across the depletion region then there will be they are getting more kinetic energy your charges because w equal to q into v so when you are applying more voltage work done by the charges will be more when the work done is more definitely kinetic energy is more when the kinetic energy is more what will happen they will start to move fast so when they start to move very fast they will collide with each other so two charges collide when they go and hit other two charges then it will become multiplied into 4. Then it will again multiplied into 8, 16. Like that cumulative multiplication process occurs in avalanche breakdown. For which a flood of current starts to flow. That is called as avalanche breakdown. This concept it is nothing but called as impact ionization. Most of the time they are asking these objective questions. The impact ionization occurs in junior breakdown or avalanche breakdown. Impact ionization occurs in avalanche breakdown. And what is avalanche breakdown? It is due to the collision of the charge carriers due to the applied voltage more and more. Whereas Zener breakdown, it occurs due to the heavy electric field at the point of junction and due to the breakage of covalent bond. This is the conceptual difference between the Zener breakdown and avalanche breakdown. Now let us see the comparison between these two point wise. So what is the doping level? Zeners are heavily doped and your avalanche diodes are lightly doped or avalanche breakdown occurs for lightly or moderately doped. Coming to second point, what is the shape of VI curves? It will be very sharp curve. Here you will find not that sharp curve. Somehow it will be bent like this but here it will be very sharp. Then coming to effect of valence electrons. When your Zener breakdown occurs, your electrons are pulled from your valence band to conduction band. As usual, it will electric field will pull the electrons. But coming to avalanche breakdown, it will just push or pop the charge from the valence band to conduction band. Coming to fifth point, breakdown voltage. Zeners occur, usually this breakdown voltage equal to or less than 6 voltage. For us, for avalanche breakdown, it occurs for more than 6 volt. So, for higher voltage, avalanche breakdown occurs. For us, for lower voltage, Zener breakdown occurs because it is heavily doped. For us, avalanche is lightly or moderately doped. Then coming to the process here, there is a direct rupture of covalent bond or direct breakage of covalent bond for who is the Zener breakdown occurs. Zener breakdown is nothing but breakdown means very heavy or sharp current flows. That is called as breakdown junctions break. Okay, that is the simple meaning. And here what happens? When you are giving the high voltage, I already mentioned your avalanche breakdown occurs for higher voltage. When you give higher voltage, you know work done W equal to Q into V. So when your charge voltage is more so obviously work done will be more when work done is more your kinetic energy half mb square increases when kinetic energy increases what will happen they will move very fast and collide with each other due to that there will be accumulation of charge carriers in terms of multiplication you can say cumulative accumulation or cumulative multiplication that is nothing but for which a flood of charge carrier flows at that point that is called as 
avalanche breakdown. What is this process called? It is called as impact ionization. Clear? Now coming to the last depletion region. In terms of depletion region, if a diode is heavily doped, then depletion width will be very small. If the diode is lightly doped, then depletion width will be Okay. Now let us make the points. One by one, doping, it will be heavily doped. Heavily doped, it will be lightly or moderately doped. Lightly or moderately doped. That is your first point. Coming to second point, shape of VI curve. Here it will be very sharp like this. But coming to here, it will be somehow higher voltage and it will be bend like this. This is, you can see the difference. Okay. This is your Jenner breakdown. This is your same Jenner breakdown, but it is called as avalanche breakdown. Okay. Now effect of temperature. How the way it is going to affect the temperature. When you increase the temperature here, your breakdown voltage, VBR, reduces. One factor increases, other factor decreases. It is called as negative temperature coefficient. Fine. But here when you increase the temperature, your breakdown voltage also increases. Hence, it is called as positive temperature coefficient. Fine. Now coming to effect of valence electrons. How the way I told it will pull the charge carriers. So, pulled electrons from valence band to conduction band. Here, it is pushed the electrons from valence band to conduction band. Fine. Now, coming to fifth point. Breakdown voltage. Zener breakdown usually happens less than equal to 6 volt whereas your avalanche breakdown occurs for more than 6 volt or even if there are sometimes higher voltage for which breakdown lower voltage for which breakdown just a simple overall you can say low voltage inner breakdown high voltage avalanche breakdown unless and until the specifically mentioned if they mention then mention this voltage arrange fine now coming to the process here directly the a rupture of covalent bond. What you will write? A rupture of covalent bond. Here it is called as impact ionization. Impact ionization. What is impact ionization? You are increasing junction voltage. When the junction, because you are operating at higher voltage, it is reverse bias. So, junction voltage increases. When the junction voltage increases, then your kinetic energy increases. When the kinetic energy increases, the collision between the charge carriers increases. There will be cumulative multiplication of the charge carriers. Cumulative multiplication of the charge carriers increases. For which the current is increases. That is nothing but called as impact ionization. Now coming to the last point, depletion width or depletion region. Your depletion width, it is heavily doped. So it is reduces. Whereas it is lightly or moderately doped. So depletion width increases. I hope you got the clarity between the Zener breakdown and avalanche breakdown. And the symbol of Zener, this is nothing but your normal diode. Zener, it is invented by the scientist C. Zener. So, according to that, he gave the symbol like Z letter. Same way, he just made this a bend. Same way, it is anode, it is a cathode. But this is the symbolical presentation of your Zener diode. Hmm? I am very sorry. In my previous video, I explained about Zener diode, but I forgot to mention about the symbol of Zener diode. Please make a note of it. Okay, friends. Take care. Bye-bye.